What well, brings us to 751 here at KNEV? Time for today's news extra presented by Interlinks. Now here's Kevin with our program. Thank you very much, Dennis. Good morning, everyone. We're pleased today to have Nancy Bentley here from the uh, Housing Partners of Western Nebraska. Uh, they are hosting, along with the uh, Panhandle uh, Continuum of Care and uh, Region 1 Behavioral Health Authority, the fifth annual Fair Housing Conference here in our area. And uh, Joe Garcia has come all the way from Omaha. He's with the Nebraska Fair Housing Center for Nebraska and Iowa. We're pleased to have him here as well. All right. The Fair Housing Conference is today. Starts at, uh, well, why don't you tell us, Nancy, registrations sure. at 8 o'clock over at the Gearing Civic Center, yes, right? Yes, we start with registration and a, a light breakfast, and then uh, folks will be in class at 8.30 learning everything they can about fair housing today. Uh, the conference will run till about 4 o'clock, and our realtors will be getting uh, six hours of continuing education credit today. That's good. That's great. Uh, you already have 100 people signed up. We do, but we really want to have some of our local tenants that might have questions about fair housing come as well. So we're offering a special registration price for them if they come today, a $15. On-site registration for other folks is $30. Well, you can't beat that. And uh, I would imagine tenants a lot of times would have some questions they need to get answered. Oh, definitely. And, and, they've, and they've got lawyers there that they can ask questions to. Right. So for $15... That's not bad to it's ask a, good, a lawyer a it's question, right? It's a good right? deal. We have some great presenters. Uh, in addition to Joe, we have Ben Watson with uh, the Nebraska Equal mm-hmm. Opportunity Commission. We have Leslie Schaefer and Katie Reichert, two local attorneys, to answer questions. And we have Jody Green with UNL to talk a little bit about dealing with bugs. Yeah, <laughs> dealing with bugs, huh? Yes. So that uh, who's responsible for extermination? Is it the land? Is it the landlord? Is it the tenant? Maybe. Come and come and learn today. Yeah. Okay. Very good. All right, Joe. Let's get you in here. Uh, welcome. We're glad you're here for all the way from Omaha, and uh, and uh, we're we're pleased to say that he was able to go to Denver and then fly with Penn Air in, and that's how he's leaving. So for those of you folks that are wondering about Penn Air, it looks like uh, they're they're doing Joe a favor here. Um, all right. Now you're uh, you're in Omaha, but. You guys cover a wide, I can't believe the wide area you cover, all the state of Nebraska plus Iowa, right? Correct, correct. We're, we are based in Omaha. We're a nonprofit organization, but we do cover the entire state of Nebraska and Iowa. Uh, we do a lot of outreach and education, tell people what their rights are when it comes to landlord-tenant issues, and we investigate discrimination in housing. Uh-huh. So that's what we're here. To, I'm here to talk about, and Ben Watson, to talk about people's rights, the process, uh, the do's and don'ts. So this is geared towards housing providers as well as tenants. All right. Some of the things you're going to talk about, for example, reasonable accommodations and modifications, um, pet, you know, what the situation, what you need to do as far as pets are concerned, what tenants can expect, what landlords uh, have to agree to. The I, w- I would imagine that's that's one area that's Probably one of the more difficult areas for a lot of these folks, right? Yeah, absolutely. There, there's a lot of questions. Uh, for example, last year we investigated uh, approximately 378 cases for possible fair housing violations. Of the 378, 270 were based for people with some type of disability. So we do a lot of a lot of work on the behalf of those who are physical, di- physically disabled as well as mental or both. So we do a lot of work on behalf of those, and those, those numbers are not just in Nebraska and Iowa, it's clear across the nation. Yeah, if you're uh, physically disabled uh, does, and uh, you're looking at a, at a place and say you need some grab bars or, or certain modifications to the bathrooms and so forth, uh, you know, probably have to look at some of the rules as to whether the landlord's required to do that, whether the tenant has to do that, that type of stuff, Correct, right? and those are some of the topics we'll be covering today, reasonable accommodations as opposed to reasonable modifications, landlord's responsibilities, uh, tenant's responsibilities, uh, who pays for, who doesn't pay for, those type of deals. So there's a lot of information to be given, and, and questions to be answered. Um, like Nancy said, 
15 bucks for uh, an answer to an attorney <laughs> is really, really cheap. And I don't charge, so, uh, <laughs> so it's, it's That's the right good. price. <laughs> Not a bad price. All right, we'll talk more right after this break. Is your wireless computer network secure? With their years of professional service, you can trust Intralink's technical solutions to keep your small or medium business computer system up and running. Not having a secure wireless network can put your computers at risk. Call Intralink's at 632-6590 to have one of their highly experienced techs set up, troubleshoot, and secure your wireless network. For weekly tips and information, friend Intralink's on Facebook at intralinks.net slash Facebook. We're on News Extra this morning with uh, Joe Garcia. He's with the Nebraska Fair Housing Center for Nebraska and Iowa. He'll be one of the speakers at the Fair Housing Conference, the fifth annual this morning from uh, all around 8.30 to 4.15 p.m. over at the Gearing Civic Center. Registration is on site still today, and especially for tenants. Nancy Bentley here with Housing Partners of Western Nebraska. They're hosting this event especially for tenants. They're looking at a few folks uh, for $15. You can spend the day getting a lot of questions answered about uh, what your legal rights are uh, at this particular conference. It's $30 for landlords and uh, for real estate agents. You also get six hours of uh, continuing education credit just for attending this particular conference. So like we say, while we have uh, Joe here, uh, some of the other things you guys... uh, uh, deal with, for example, legal evictions. Uh, how long, uh, you know, what, what the situation? That's that's kind of a touchy situation, I would think, in most cases. Correct. We 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 are not attorneys, and and I, we I tell everyone I'm not here to give you legal advice. I'll tell you what your options are, what that landlord's responsible under Nebraska uh, landlord tenant state law. But we we explain to them the process, how it works, how the person is to be given a three day eviction notice. Uh, do they have to be out in three days? Does the landlord have to accept the rent within that three days? What if I give it to them afterwards? Uh, uh, within, so I can just answer that real quick. Within the three days, that if you come up with the amount that's past due, that, that housing provider has to accept it. After the three days, they do not have to accept it. Uh, so we tell them what their rights are, uh, uh, what to expect, and how the process works. All right. If somebody, uh, uh, you're in Omaha and people are going to say, how does he cover uh, an area as wide as he does? If you get a fair housing complaint from this area, what, what would occur? We would, we do an intake. We do an intake process and we, we get all the information. We do have cooperating partners out here, uh, in the different areas that we've, we've introduced ourselves and they know us, uh, out in Shadron and Crawford and Gordon, Scotts Bluff. Uh, but if it, it, if it deems that we need to come out, I have uh, there's six of us. Two of us are bilingual in Spanish. We will on a on a dime come out here and and investigate the situation for ourselves. All right. So Nancy, you got to appreciate some of these folks uh, if there is a problem with uh, maybe you know one of your tenants in one of your units, right? Definitely. Um, the investigations are always fair, and um, they try to gather all the facts that they can. And uh, I think they work a lot with people that do get housing complaints to uh, resolve those uh, before they need to make any um, final rulings on them with, within the court system. So I, we have always appreciated them. They're available to answer questions that uh, housing providers, housing authorities have as well, Kevin. All right. Very good. Once again, the conference uh, today, you can still register between 8 and 8.30. $15 for tenants, $30 for landlords. I uh, can't think of, uh, probably for some of you folks, a better way to spend the day for less cost and get a lot of questions answered on a number of issues. We thank Nancy and we thank Joe for coming in today on our program. Appreciate it, you guys. Thank, thank you. Voice for News, KNEB, Scotts Bluff, Gearing, 960 AM, and now on 100.3 FM.